Hi, Dad. Hey, Sarah. What are you working on? I'm getting ready to go stargazing tonight. It's supposed to clear up. Wonderful. I'd spend forever. I don't even know what's the sky tonight. Well, if you want to come along, I've got an extra star map. I just need to grab some more equipment and we can head out. I would love to. Let me grab my red flashlight and I'll meet you outside. Awesome. It looks like we're all set to go. Yeah, Dobbs are really great for stargazing. They're so easy to set up. So as we wait for the sky to get dark and our eyes to adjust, let's take a look at the star maps and see what we can see in the sky tonight. So first, look at the date and time your map is set for. The date is important because as the Earth orbits the Sun, we see different constellations at different times of the year. The time is important because as the Earth rotates every 24 hours, the stars appear to rise in the east and drift west throughout the night before setting. These maps work great for locations in Minnesota. If you travel to different latitudes like the equator or the southern hemisphere, you'll want a map for that location. Next, notice the shape of the map. The map is a circle. The outer edge of the map is the horizon, where the sky and ground appear to meet. And the center of the map is the zenith, the point directly overhead. You can use these two reference points to know how high in the sky to look for the stars. Speaking of stars, they're drawn as different sized dots on the map. The larger the dot, the brighter the star. These are the star magnitudes, which indicate how bright a star is. They range from the brightest stars, like Sirius and Vega, which are negative and zero magnitudes respectively, to dimmer stars with higher positive magnitudes. Some star maps will list the magnitude scale for you to match to the sky. Other features on the star map can include the Milky Way galaxy, the ecliptic, which is the path planets will appear on if they're out at night, and guiding lines to help with star hopping. Star hopping is where you use easier to find stars or constellations to point you to other nearby stars and constellations. It's an easy way to navigate the sky using the constellations as landmarks. For example, if you draw a line between the outer two stars of the ladle in the Big Dipper, often called the pointer stars, they will point to the north star in the Little Dipper. These constellations can help guide you to super awesome, cool, deep sky objects. And lastly, as you look at the map, you might notice that the directions seem to be backward, at least the east and west appear to be. This is done on purpose. The map is formatted so you can read it while looking at the sky, which means to read it, you hold it above your head. First, determine which direction you are facing. Next, with the map facing up, hold the direction of the map to your torso. Then lift the map overhead. The directions should now be properly aligned and east and west should no longer appear switched.